What's up, everyone? Today, we're going to be creating icons in ChatGPT. So I'm going to be creating different types of icons, going through some different examples of icons that I created, different styles that we created. And then basically, I'm going to start this video with really what has worked the best in terms of coming up with a design that I actually like. And I would say the best thing that you can do is find an existing design. Now, if you already have a framework in your mind of, okay, this is what I want my design to look like, then you can try to describe that. What I've tried to do is just say, okay, let me find a design I really like, like a set of icons. So if I say, okay, I'm creating icons, I really like the way these icons look, I wanna create very similar icons for my brand. There's two different ways I've found to do this in ChatGPT that works pretty well. The first, and I have ChatGPT open, I also have Claude open, I'm gonna start with the same prompt for both of them. And what I did is I just said, how would you describe these icons? If you were a designer, how would you say these icons specifically are designed? I'm looking to replicate them. I need a chat GPT prompt to create similar icons for my marketing brand, specifically these eight concepts. Now keep in mind, the more specific you are about the icon design you want, the better it's going to come out ultimately. So if you say, I want a paint can that's dropping a droplet of paint and I want behind it a soft yellow color, then you'll probably get a very similar icon to this, especially if you say like, I want a flat minimalist icon, a light bulb, and I want a yellow behind it, you know, something along those lines. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell ChatGPT, I wanna replicate these icons. I don't wanna make sure I'm giving you every little detail of what I'm looking for. I'm basically looking for icons for my marketing brand. So we're gonna start with Claude here and we have the image uploaded. I'm on the Claude Pro plan. And I'm going to ask, basically, I need similar icons for my marketing brand. How would we prompt this to ChatGPT? And then we are going to do the same thing directly within ChatGPT as well. So same exact prompt here. And we're going to click on enter and see what both of them come up with. We'll start with Claude. So these icons are what I call a playful outline style. Consistent navy blue outlines, same medium weight navy blue stroke, soft pastel color spots. Each has a single soft. Okay, so we go through all of these details here and basically they give me a prompt, create a set of playful outlines with a marketing brand. Now keep in mind, you can update these colors so they actually match the colors that you want them to be. So for me, I'm just gonna use the existing colors that they already have. And now you can see I could just take this right here. We're gonna copy all the way to the bottom, quote to quote. So this is the prompt they came up with for us. We're gonna come back over to chat GPT. And you can see they have a little bit different of a prompt. So let's see what we come up with. So we're just going to enter this. We're going to start with our Claude prompt, create a set of playful outline icons for a marketing brand. Okay, so now we will start creating our design here. So while that design is being created, let me go through some of the other examples that I have. So coming up to the top here, I started with this. Just Let's just start with some basic ideas. Now, actually, where I really started was basically coming up with icon styles. So what are five different icon styles that I can use? Here are five different, flat, line, glyph, solid, duotone, 3D, and then I said, give me five more, okay? So isometric, hand-drawn, pixel, animated, gradient. So 10 icon styles. If you ask for 20, 30 different icon styles, you'll probably get all sorts of different ideas. What I really liked actually about this is they gave me links that actually were pretty useful some of these not every single one but some of them were pretty useful in seeing the actual examples like trying to figure out what a glyph icon was going into the examples they gave us and i was able to see that pretty well so next is going to be one of the things that i i do sometimes if you're looking for icons you're like i don't know where to start you know i'm, I'm looking for concepts associated with marketing basically just say i need 20 words concepts associated they gave me 20 different ones 20 concepts related to med spas and estheticians i think i'm saying that correctly 20 concepts related to that i actually needed icons for this so that was a, a useful one for me so basically i started here with basically just prompting how do I ask for an icon? If you are a professional icon designer, you probably don't need to do this. I am not a professional icon designer, so I do need to do this. Let's see if we are where we're at right now. Okay, so this is what we've gotten from our image. Now, keep in mind, I did prompt chat GPT with this image, so I should have done it on a separate one, but that's fine. I'm gonna go over the example anyway that I usually use. And you can see here we have different icons created, all of these pretty good icons overall. I want to take a quick break from the video to promote my ads and marketing community. So if you want to join a community of other marketers, other advertisers, and find ways to actually grow your business with advertising and marketing, go to surfsidepcc.com community, 
or go to school, S-K-O-O-L dot com slash Surfside PPC. You could join my ads community, talk with other like-minded individuals, answer questions, ask questions, and hopefully we can build the best marketing community on the internet. So let's get back to the video. Yeah, these are, these are all icons that I would use. We actually have the text at the bottom in case we did want to use that text. But overall, some pretty good icons here. Now let's take the chat GPT and we are going to do this in a separate. Okay, so we're going to copy this. We're going to open a new chat and we're going to do this prompt here. Okay, perfect. And we are going to enter that one. And we are actually going to do this one more time just because I want to see what Claude comes up with. If we are outside of the actual, you know, sometimes when you put an image like this, chat GPT reads the image and says, oh, let me create icons very similar to that, which is what it looks like it did. So I want to see how close it gets without having that image. These are actually a little bit different, so not exactly the same, but we're going to take the same prompt without any of the image and we are going to do that one as well okay so now we have another one i've noticed the usage we must have more usage now because i was running into a lot of usage issues i'm not running into those anymore okay so let's go over some of our examples so this one we started with so, so after i created all the prompts basically i started with this create a set of matching automotive icons for a mechanic Create icons for a sedan, sports car, truck, SUV, van, limo, oil change, transmission, brakes, tires, and windows. So you can see they gave me exactly the ones I'd be looking for. These are, this is a transparent image, which is pretty cool. So you could download it, basically take the icons out and use them. I will show you a quick and easy way to create icons. So if you're like, I need to create, you know, ICO files, then I'll show you exactly how to do that. Can you turn them into 3D or skeuomorphic icons? So that was something I found through the actual ideas that I put together. So, you know, give me some ideas for icons I can create. And now we have different types of icons. I actually like the way that these came out. They look pretty cool. These ones too. So when you're looking for quick icons for cheap, this is these are two very good options that you can use so that's the first thing that to get started with these ones are still being created next i said you know let me just leave this wide open give a style and give a theme so i said i have a cybersecurity companies i need you to create icons for it please create a set of cybersecurity icons in a glyph style they actually gave me two different responses so they gave me response one these are glyph style svg icons so i could download these immediately just basically copy download and right click download them and then i have all of these icons so it came out pretty good i mean these are all pretty good icons overall i wasn't really sure what this was but probably just me not knowing cybersecurity well enough but overall they gave me some different icons that i was able to use and then we came up to the top here and you can see image created here for another one. So they gave me two different responses. These ones weren't the greatest, but a few icons that are that I could potentially use for a very basic prompt. It's pretty easy to, to say like, okay, this is a pretty good outcome based on the prompt that I have. Okay, so let's come over here. This was one I actually really liked. Can you create a set of flat icons with color for my food blog? I am specifically writing about fruits, so I need, I am looking for the following icons. So grapes, apples, apple watermelon pear blueberries so you can see down here we got all of our icons created these are really good icons actually especially for like a one shot icon if you are running a food blog you can see this is very easy to just copy paste and use now the raspberry itself i didn't love this one a lot of time not every raspberry usually has these especially when they're in the container they probably are, are attached to that from the plant but when you think of raspberry this almost looks more like grapes than a raspberry the pineapple came out good the mango came out good this is supposed to be an orange so this one didn't come out that great and this is guava and that actually came out pretty good so can you turn them into hand-drawn icons but keep the color so keeping this very very basic the more detail you give in a prompt the better that your outcome is ultimately going to be it doesn't mean give a ton of detail you don't want to confuse chat gpt but you're basically trying to say i need hand-drawn icons of and if i put together grape apple apple watermelon pear you know etc etc we would be able to see all the same fruits but you can see there's a little bit of confusion here where the pineapple looks like it turned into grapes the raspberry looks the same guava looks the same mango looks the same and the orange basically got turned into an orange pineapple-ish type of type of look there so things got a little bit wonky in this one but overall i mean for for something that took me about three minutes i mean these are really good icons and you can quickly and easily use them now if you're wondering like how do i use let's say i want to use this red apple icon the way that i would do it and there's, there's probably a million ways to do this is i would take a screenshot of the icon so take a screenshot i'm going to open up canva and within canva i have a design that's 150 by 150 so you see i already have one in here i'm going to 
add a new design here. We're going to upload our file. Okay, we upload our file here, and now what I can do is just expand it, so it's filling this out. It, it might look a little blur blurry. We're at 155%. This should not be blurry at all. So we're gonna take this, do background remover. Okay, so now we just have our icon here. Now, if we go down to 100%, you'll see it looks like a good icon. It doesn't look blurry or anything. And what we're gonna do is we are going to download this as a, a PNG transparent background. Now I do have a Canva pro plan, so you may need that, but there are ways to do this without Canva. Page two, download transparent background, and now we have the PNG file that we need. Okay, so that file can be used if you are actually trying to you know, just create an icon design, you can use PNG files. If you need like an ICO file, just a quick Google search, there are plenty of tools that do this now. One of the good things about AI being so advanced is you could basically create this tool in about five minutes. And now there's a bunch of web apps that do it because they can put ads on here and they could find other ways to actually monetize this. There probably are some usage rates, but if you really need that many icons, then this is, you know, that this is something that's probably worthwhile. There are also, if you know, if you're using custom, and I assume I'm talking to non-graphic designers right now. If you're a graphic designer, you could just skip over this whole part. Non-graphic designers, basically you just need the ICO file to really create an icon. So we're going to choose our file, our PNG one that we just created in Canva. Okay. So we have our design here, output ICO. We are going to convert and we are done. Now we can download it. Okay. So we download it. We'll click on it to open and you can see we have our little Apple icon here. Now there's a black outline around it. So it looks a little weird right here, but you can see looks good overall, you know, good overall looking icon. If we put it on our website, we'll probably look good on a food blog. So we have an icon and it took all of, you know, doing that is a very quick process. Just basically screenshot, put it into Canva, download as a PNG file, which you can use for your icons. I do have icons on websites that are PNG files. And then if you want to actually upload it as an icon set or create I different icons, then you can actually convert it to the ICO file. Let's see where we're at with our different icons that we have. So create a cohesive set of eight modern minimalist icons for a marketing brand. Okay, so we got pretty similar results to the other one. So if we go over to our other one that we have here, I think this one's slightly better. So having the image context probably helps in that matter. So you can see we have pretty good one here. This is the other one that we just created. I like these ones as well. I probably like the other ones better. And then let's see. Okay, so this is actually our one with Claude and this may be my favorite. I actually like the text under them. So this one actually looks pretty good too. So some good overall icons here. And basically what I would like to get through to you, you know, in this video is that when I generally have the best specific icons that I'm creating or designs that I'm creating, it's basically either using a prompt like this one. I use Claude a lot. I think they're just better at coming up with a prompt than ChatGPT is using a prompt like this one. So go to Claude, go to ChatGPT, whichever one you're using and upload an image and say, how would you describe these? Can you come up with a prompt so I can recreate this design? So they'll be able to read the image and say, this design is ABC. Here is exactly how we are going to recreate this with a prompt. So the other thing that I would recommend doing is if you find icons you like, so these were icons that I liked, just basically upload these and just say, I need icons in this style. So then you can actually use that specific style to create your icons. I have an example here of um, some marketing icons that I created. So this is just one I created a few of. Basically I said, okay, I like this I these icons. Part of this was a test because there's so many different icons here and they're you know a, a little bit, all a little bit different and probably seems like it'd be hard to read each individual icon. But basically, can you create icons similar to the style of the image attached for the following marketing concepts? Now, if you really wanna combine this and get the the best of both worlds, then this is honestly how I would recommend doing it is exactly how we started with uploading the screenshot, using a prompt and, and coming up with a prompt for this icon style and then using that to come up with your actual icons themselves. That will generally give you the most similar icons is doing kind of a combination of both of image context and also a prompt based on the image. That is how I would recommend doing it in any type of design when you want something specific. But for this one with our marketing icons, I just said create icons similar to this and I gave a bunch of different options, analytics, I don't know what graphs, ads, content, SEO. These are pretty good. Some that are a little bit off and a little bit wonky, but I mean, they're 
these are all icons for the most part I would use. We have this one here where they kind of, you know, lead, not the greatest. This leads one, not the greatest. Traffic, not really sure if this represents traffic. So I wouldn't say it's perfect by any stretch, but for the most part, I mean, these are a lot of icons that I'd be able to use. And especially with one shot, basically saying, here's an image, create me these icons. They came out pretty good, but these are really good. Can you use the icons attached and redesign the marketing icons in a similar style? Take your time creating the icon. So sometimes tell the tell chat GPT to breathe and use just these seven. So analytics, graphs, you know, so we have seven and now we have some more icons. These ones came out a little bit better. Still not perfect. I mean, graphs is a storefront. We have little ads in here. So still probably a little confused. I always kind of say you're better off creating new conversations if you're asking for a new design. If you're consistently trying to improve a design, then sometimes what you can do is continue in the same context window. So let's go over a few more examples that we had. So we went over cybersecurity, our food. This was one just basically let's see how how well they could do this creating isometric icons with color for my architecture firm so look 3d like perspective with a fixed angle usually 30 degrees giving depth without full realism and we got 30 degree icons for an architecture firm that all look pretty good for the most part i mean these are a lot of things that an architecture firm would be able to use this was a prompt that I was able to get through my icon styles. So basically I found the isometric. So 3D like perspective, fixed angle, usually 30 degrees. I just use this exact look here. So coming up with that prompt can be really helpful when you're trying to create icons. Next, I actually needed icons for med spa. So I was like, let me just create a set of outline icons. These are the types that I need based on the design I'm working with. Specifically need icons that would represent my services. Do not use any text, just create outline outline icons related to med spas and aestheticians. Here are some examples. Again, this was something where in my icon styles overview, I said, give me 20 concepts related to med spas. And that is what they gave me. So I was able to ask for all of those 20 concepts and they gave me a really good set of outline icons that I could, that I'd be able to use things that, that all look pretty good for the most part. I mean, there's a few that are a little bit off, but I mean, for a one shot, you know, just trying to get icons. And what I've found is you can do much better if you limit it. So create five icons icons in an outline style for cool sculpting. So that's really not much in terms of, you know, context They're basically going off of cool sculpting. This is a really good icon for that. This is actually a really good icon for that. This is kind of like the cool sculpting, what it is. This one's decent. These two, I think just kind of got the, the cool and yeah, I think we just had to put cool there some, some way, you know, cold. And those are what those two icons were. This is like actually not a bad icon. It's just not the greatest to represent cool sculpting, but it's not terrible. Now, last but not least, I went to Claude and basically just said, give me five ideas of icons that I could create. So there's so many different designs you can come up with that sometimes if you're like, let me just, I need inspiration. So I need five ideas of icons that I can create. Here are five icon design ideas, things I would never come up with in a million years. Can you suggest an icon style for each of them? Here are style suggestions for each icon concept. So we have five different concepts here. And then what I did is I just went over to chat GPT and basically said, if we can find the right conversation, can you create the following icons and put the five here from Claude? And now these are the five we got. These actually came out really good. I really like this origami Fox. It's pretty impressive. Compass Rose is pretty impressive. I mean, the plant is just, you know, it's simple icon, but it came out exactly like it is. What I really like about this is even if you see like cloud with lightning, a glyphic or silhouette style would work perfectly here. Create a solid shape with clean edges, use negative space for the lightning bolt cut out. This approach ensures good scalability and instant recognition. You can actually see the lightning bolt cut out. It's pretty, pretty impressive how well these designs are created. So wanted to go over some examples for creating icons here, how you can actually create icons themselves. I would say my number one tip is giving as much context as possible before you create anything. So if there is a design you like, a design style you like, using the actual image of the design, just take a screenshot, upload it to ChatGPT. And then the other thing you can do is take this design and say, can you come up with a prompt that would describe the icons that are shown here? So they come up with a prompt and then you upload the image and then you use a prompt and you say, I need these five different icons and you'll be able to get icons created pretty quickly. You saw us create these marketing ones directly through this video. I do think this, these ones are some of my favorite. I don't 
love the colors, so I could probably adjust the colors slightly just to make sure they would match my brand a little bit. But these are things I would use on a website. Same thing with even like the med spot icon set. If you need like just an outline icon, which are, are very common on websites, this is a really good icon to create. So for coming up with the design elements pretty quickly for a, a very low cost, not having to pay for icon packs, you can see how easy this is and the different types of icons you can create. So hopefully this was all helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.